So you want to help me sing a song? Um, yes. It's a little song. It goes, Vusu kente nika boka, Vusu kente. Nika boka. Vusu kente. Nika boka. E vusu kente. Nika boka. O vusu kente. Nika boka. O za vusu kente. Nika boka. A vusu kente. O za vusu kente. E la vusu kente. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, Vuspus Pagati. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes, yes. So um, this is this is one of my most favorite songs ever, and and you'll understand why. Um, 1999. I'm 13 years old. Uh, so since people are talking about fathers, I'm like, yo, I too will speak about my father. So my father was, was one of those hustlers, man. He was, he was a hard worker, did a lot of odd jobs, and one of those jobs was him being an, an electrician. So we had, we had two TVs at home. Mind you, we lived in a um, two-room two shack. Well, it was actually like a one-room shack with the room divider. Uh, some of you may know it as a, as a wall unit, sir. You probably, you probably know it as a wall unit. Um, but uh, for some of us, it was a room divider because it divided the room. There we go. So it was there dividing the room, dividing the kitchen from the bedroom there of the parents. Uh, our bedroom was in the kitchen. Yeah. Now we got a, 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 a what, do you, what it was, a 32. 52 centimeter Panasonic color TV. Yeah. It was here on the room divider facing the kitchen. And then we had a small Anyana black and white TV behind the Panasonic facing the bedroom. Yeah. The 52 centimeter was for the picture. Yeah. The smaller one was for the sound. <laughs> so essentially, when we are watching TV, you need the two to work. So my father, we lived in the Val. My father was working in the Free State. Uh, and the TV dies. Where one of the days, the TV dies, it starts shishering. Shh. It's shishering. Uh, in other words, white noise. It does the white noise thing. All right. It's a problem now. But my mother had a solution. The solution that my mother applied on the TV is the one that she applied on us. She went... Because the TV was not behaving. So because of lack of behavior of the TV, the behavior got a little smack. With the little smack, the behavior, the, the TV started to behave. So I realized, okay, this is how you deal with things. When you get a little bit of a problem, you just da ta ta smack a little bit. And the shishering shall end. Like, okay, there is an ending of the shishering now. Everything is good. So one of the days, shishering occurs. When shishering occurs, here I go, dish, TV works. Ah, I'm good at this thing. Another day, it does the same thing. There's another day when it did the thing, I hit it, nothing. I hit it, nothing. I hit it, it's dark now. It's all black. And I'm like, oh, snap, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. My mother comes home, she dish, 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 she's me. And we wait for my father. My father comes back. I'm thinking I'm going to get the most dish 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 of all times. Yeah. But no, my father understood. He opens up the TV and I'm watching him do uh, the whole work. And I see that there's a, there's, a, there's a tiny wire on the circuit. There's a tiny wire on the circuit that he, he put back. So I realized that no, so every time we dish dish the TV, the wire falls back into place. But it so happened when I dish dished the TV to dish dish, it totally fell away and therefore I was unable to put it back on. Now, fast forward. 2019, Vusmuz Pagati is at Akeso. I am sitting across a psychiatrist, and a psychiatrist is saying I should be admitted into hospital because I am a danger to myself. Like I was psychiatrist. Psychiatrist now, I have been dish dishing myself. The psychiatrist makes me away for a very long time. Now what she does is what my father did. She opens up the head now. 
When she opens up, she allows me to see the small lanyana wire that every time I dish dish myself, it falls into place. Now I am aware of the smaller one, the small lanyana wire. The small lanyana wire takes me back to another 1999. We are back there. 1999. I am those boys that uh, every time after school, at 7 p.m., I'm still wearing school uniform. I make it seem as if it's fashion, but there are no clothing. There's no food by my brother. There's no, there's no, there's nothing. So I'm, I'm still wearing my school uniform, but I'm also over and above that wearing my, my, my mother's flip-flops. So my mother is not having it anymore. Um, I'm ruining the school, the school uniform. She takes my younger brother's long pants, uh, long formal pants. She cuts them just there at the end. So I can now have pants of my own. Here I am, I'm pulling the pants. They are green pants. They are just right here behind the knee. They are kaka kaka. They can fit properly. I'm wearing an orange shirt. I'm going downtown. I used to live what they call uptown, but it was really just up the road. So I'm living up the road. I'm going downtown now to go see my girlfriend, Lebo Hang Mukwena. I'm going down, downtown to see Lebo Hang Mukwena. And mind you, I'm 13 years old. So as I'm walking down, I'm walking with Tepo Shoshongwani, a friend of mine who's still a friend to this day. As we're walking down, here they are. I see my girl there. She's playing the cans. I don't know. I don't know the name for this thing, but it's a thing where you put cans straight like this. You have a, a tennis that is really just plastics put together. Uh, with a, a mugusha, which is a stocking, and then you throw at the cans, and then kick, 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 the cans fall off, and that's the game. And then here they are, they have the time of their lives, they are playing some cans. So I am them seeing my girl, and my girl just jumping them cans, man. She's just jumping, she's a little bit dirty with just some soil, them like, ah, oh, that's how I like it, that's how I like my girls. So she's just, she's just jumping them cans. Now, as, as she's just doing the whole thing, a friend of hers by the name of, his name is Lidwaba, Ritabile Lidwaba. Ritabile Lidwaba starts singing when she sees me. She starts singing, Vusu Kense, Vusu Kense, eh, Vusu Kense. All the girls start singing. They take the cans, they are playing with the cans. They are playing with the cans. They start saying, I am there, I am distraught at this point. Because, because I've, I've, I've been insecure, but I'm, I, I'm, I always just, just put it aside and make it seem as if I'm the most confident person ever. Yeah. So this thing is happening, and then Le Bohang just starts running away, and she's going home. So I, I, run, I run after Le Bohang. She enters her mother's home. I go, I knock. Knock for a while. Her older sister comes through. Older sister opens. I'm like, yo, Le Buang. Older sister says, no, Le Buang does not want to see you. And then that was the end of me and, 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 and Le Buang Mugwin. So as I'm sitting there, fast forward, 2019, I'm sitting there across the psychiatrist and, and I'm just telling her what could be wrong because now she opened it and she's, she's showing me this, this little wire and I'm seeing that oh this is what Lorenz was speaking about with the chaos theory when he speaks of the butterfly effect that a slight flap of wings from kilometers away will later on create a hurricane that within us, there are many slight wires that are out of place. All we need to do is open the TV up instead of cliching and put it back in place.